Hey you guys, what is up and welcome back. Long time no see, just saw you today. I need to clean up this camera thing because it's like so... Oh, this camera is like so dirty. I don't even know what I'm going to do. But not it's not dirty, but the lens is just kind of like dusty. But I think it's from whenever Lizzie was doing my nails. It got some like dust particles in it and I can't get them out. Okay you guys, so weekly Walmart grocery haul. That's going to be the title of this video, plus it's going to be a miniature little vlog, nothing too crazy. But I just wanted to go on ahead and give you guys the rundown of what I got. Just a small little thing. Um, I'm probably not going to do like too much grocery shopping until maybe like next week and stuff. So just waiting on that, but yes. But let me just go on ahead and show you guys what we have so far. So first off, you guys, I have some of this Mott's 100% apple juice. I usually get the... Um, the organic one but summer was like hey just take this one she's the one who actually bought it and she's like hey i actually have a bunch of extras and i completely forgot so just go on ahead and take this one and just use it for right now so this is what i'm going to use right now until i get some more organic next you guys i went on ahead and picked up some of these multi-green rice cakes um i'm not too big on like counting calories and stuff like that so don't even ask me but i thought you know what i guess they're organic they're gluten-free and they were on a rollback for like a dollar something super cheap and they don't expire until february 19 2020 which was super nice that's still like half a freaking year left and so i thought you know what i'm gonna get some of these because with peanut butter they come out like so good so i went on ahead and i picked some of that up next you guys i picked up some uh strawberry cheesecake greek yogurts um i just got the light and fit brand i don't know if these are good or bad but usually i'll just get the chobani but i thought you know what let's just try a different brand let's go on ahead and do the light and fit just because strawberry strawberry cheesecake had sounded so good so i was like let's just go on ahead and do that over here we just have some honey bunches of oats we have the almond one crispy almond and then the crunchy honey roasted one so there's just some cereal options i got a small bag of cheese i didn't know if i had cheese until i came over here to the fridge i need to kind of reorganize the fridge so don't even don't even judge me y'all but i didn't realize but i actually have like cheese so <laughs> But yes, next you guys, I went on ahead and picked up one of these clear key lime things. I love these because it has zero sugar, zero calories, zero caffeine, and it's sodium free. It probably has a lot of damn chemicals in it or something if it is has zero all that, but who knows. But anyways, you guys, I actually love to get those drinks a lot. I have an apple one and then I have two. Oh, they did have the key lime. Oh, I did already get them. <gasps> okay, so I had thought that I did not get the key lime. And I thought, you know what? Let me get a key lime because I love the key lime flavor so, so, so much. And I thought that I had had like apple and then another one, grape. But I guess I did have key lime. So I guess I got an extra one. This one is my favorite one because it tastes kind of like Sprite, but not like Sprite. It's really good. And it doesn't have all that damn sugar. So next you guys, some toilet paper. I'm really big on the thousand sheets. This is my favorite just because of the fact that the other ones, it might be TMI, but it gives me rash. So if you guys get like rashiness and stuff like with other toilet papers, um, I'd recommend trying out the thousand sheets and not going to see a doctor, but yes. And then I went on ahead and picked up some water bottles. I've been really into Dasani. I know that Dasani is like almost five bucks, but it's still pretty good. I like it. Next, you guys, I got a little mini caldo de pollo. I didn't know if I was running out, but I'm pretty sure that I kind of am. Yeah, I knew it. Look how much I have left, like very little. And so I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go on ahead and pick up a little tiny one just in case I'm running out. And I was, so I'm glad that I got that. I picked up some creamy peanut butter for my rice cakes. I thought that would just be a nice snack option just to have in the apartment. Next, I picked up some ground beef for tonight's dinner. I'm going to make some spaghetti. I know that I'm always making the same, like, couple of meals. But, you guys, honestly, it's because I crave them. I crave them so, 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 so bad. And I don't really want to go off making all kinds of other meals unless I know that I'm going to really be wanting to eat them. So, then I went on ahead and I actually picked up some of this penne pasta because I haven't made it with penne in a while. So, I thought... Might as well do. I went on ahead and picked up some Windex because I needed to get some so bad. And I think that I'm actually finally going to set up my Kiro cabinet tonight. So you guys will probably get to see me do that with you guys. And then next we have some 
baby spinach and then i went on ahead and picked up one of these candles they were like four something maybe like 430 something and then they had bigger ones for 497 and then smaller ones for 333 but i just picked up this one um i'm usually a bath and body works gal and i actually have a couple of bath and body works candles over there but i they're all like very wintry like marshmallow cupcakes pancakes all the food flavors and i thought you know what i just want something right now that's relaxing but just more fresh so i picked up this one honestly you guys it just smells like a pine trees it just smells so good and that's like honestly one of my favorite 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 smells it's because literally like i am about to try and get some of my long hair into this food no way okay so about me let's go on ahead and answer some about me questions so what is so my name is autumn what is your favorite thing to do hmm what is my favorite my favorite thing to do honestly you guys my favorite thing to do it's gonna sound so cliche and so cheesy but honestly, you guys, my favorite thing to do in the whole wide world would be to spend time with my family, to be really honest with you guys. Because to me, it's like, I don't know if I'm going to be promised my family tomorrow. I mean, I usually don't think that every single day, but like if I can answer it right now, I would tell you guys, I don't know if I'm going to be promised my family tomorrow or if... You know, my family, I don't know if they're going to promise me, me to them. And I'm not living in fear. It's just reality. And I just pray to God that he just grants my family with long life, Lord Jesus. I literally, Father God, I am praying here on camera, Lord. And I just lift up that to you, Father God, that my family be granted with all the years, Father God, that they need and that we need to be with each other, Father God, and just live a long, healthy life for Jesus. In your name, Jesus, I pray. Amen. Because literally, yeah, <laughs> that is a real thing. So I'm just like, I I love to spend time with my family. That's my favorite thing in the world. They're the people who make me laugh the most, smile the most, cry the most, happy the most. Like, they are, they're who make me, like, me. So that would be including my husband, my husband's family, my family, my whole family. It would include that. What is my favorite color? My favorite color, you guys, is brown. I love the color brown. Um, I like a lot of brown things, coffee, chocolate. You know, I'm just a brown girl. I like brown furniture. Um, what is your favorite movie? I've been spinning this stuff the whole freaking time and the thing has not even been on. I was thinking, why is it not like why don't i hear a sizzle or nothing the thing's not on so anyways um my favorite movie would have to be probably um oh lord what would be my favorite movie honestly you guys i don't think that i have a favorite movie i'm a more mood movie person it's more like my mood now if you give me different genres maybe i can tell you some movies there's one movie that i love so much and it's called one day it has Anne Hathaway in it and it's just a beautiful film where like it's two friends and they meet and then what happens is that they both end up falling in love with different people and then they um, end up at the end of their lives getting together and it's just a beautiful film. I'm not going to tell you guys the whole story because of the fact that it would spoil the film if you haven't watched it but if you haven't not watched it I would check it out on Netflix. It's called One Day favorite food this is gonna sound crazy but my favorite food is pizza and i'm gonna tell you why it's because it does not matter what happens if i'm with somebody and if they offer me pizza i will take it not unless it's little caesars though i don't know why but little caesars is kind of like the hit or miss if it's fresh out the box fresh out the box little caesars and it has fully coated cheese and fully coated pepperonis then i'll take it but if it's not i don't want it <laughs> least favorite food Oof. i would have to say artichokes i mean not artichokes my bad uh reverse 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 brussels sprouts brussels sprouts are my least favorite food i do not like brussels sprouts my family my mom lives by brussels sprouts my grandpa can like 
down them like an animal i'm not a big brussels sprouts fan although maybe with some bacon that kind of sounds kind of good but i don't like them okay <laughs> if i could go anywhere i'd go to i don't know you guys if i could go anywhere if I could go anywhere, I'd go straight to heaven. That is where I would go. I do not. I do not want to be on this earth. I'd rather want to be in heaven. That's where I would go if I could go anywhere. My best friend is... Okay, you guys. So, they're asking the wrong girl this question. So, ever since I grew up, like, growing up, I've always been extremely social. Not, like, extremely social. Like, I'm not the type that, like, will be, like you know, the first to start a conversation in a party. But like, whenever I start talking to people and getting to know people, I'm the type that's like, you know what? You're a really good person. Yeah, we can be friends. So I have a lot of friends, you guys. I have a lot of friends. Um, they're not really like acquaintances. I, There are very few acquaintances that I feel like if I have, but for the most part, um, I would have to say I have a lot of friends my best 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 friends though um i honestly have a couple which is probably it's it's really good i'm really grateful for it it's not good sometimes it's hard to kind of time management things i love all my best friends i love you guys if you guys are watching the video but it, it is hard to time manage you know time with all of my best friends because of the fact that all of my best friends deserve time and it's hard because of the fact that i have a lot of best friends and it's like hard because you know what time at it what is my favorite song so my favorite song would have to be oof. i don't know i don't i would have to uh, it just depends on my mood but honestly my favorite song is don't know why by Nora jones um be only because my grandpa loves Nora Jones and he loves that song and I love my grandpa so 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 much like he's the person that I it makes me want to cry I need to calm down but he's the person that I can say that I probably love almost most in my life other than Jesus I have my greatest stuff for my grandpa I love my husband so 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 much he I love him so 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 much on a romantic level friendship level everything but the person that just like tings my heart to the fullest point would have to be my grandpa Ooh, Lord Jesus, help me out. Ooh. Okay. When I grow up, I'm going to be. So, I'm kind of already grown up. Right now, I'm actually... If, if we want to bring it to work, I'm classified as an esthetician right now. So, that just involves skin. It involves um, makeup. You know, I specialize, actually, in makeup. So, I'm an esthetician. I know about the skin. But what I specialize in is makeup again, because I am a certified makeup artist. And then I specialize in eyelash extensions. And so, um, and so yes, yeah, so that is my, my whole cup of tea. That's what I do. So I love eyelash extensions. They're so relaxing to do, so fun, honestly. There's nothing like sitting down and doing lashes and then just seeing the finished result and seeing how beautiful they come out. Cause it is a lot of work but it's really something that i really love to do um what else what's the next question what makes me happy again you guys what makes me happy is my family spending time with my husband spending time with my family um that's what makes me most happiest in life is my family that's what makes me happy i mean there are a lot of other things like food you know spending time even with friends all that stuff but what makes me most 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 happy is most definitely gonna be um my family if i could have one wish it would be hmm, if i could have one wish what would it be if i could have one wish i want to say that it would be Probably, if I could have one wish, it would be that all my family goes to heaven, including myself. 
that me and all my family go to heaven so that way we can all rejoice with one another at the end and be in heaven that is honestly you guys that is my true goal right now because i feel like the world is getting so ugly and it's like materialistic things i love i'm not saying like i'm not a materialistic girl i'm not full blown materialistic as you guys can tell or at least i hope you guys can tell but it's like to me it's kind of like materialism has its you know ending point and to me like there's one thing that this one youtuber that i watch had said um she was referring it to a bunch of other stuff though that i don't quite fully believe in which is okay everybody's entitled to their own beliefs but she had said you know what we're all spiritual beings um just having a human experience and so to me that is just like so 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 real we are all spiritual beings having a human experience and so um so yes that is what that is my one wish is just to make it to heaven with all my family and i mean all of it i mean all of it my daddy's had a family my mama's had a family dominic's family his dad's side his mom's side you know everybody i would want everybody to make it to heaven that is my wish my one wish i'm gonna get emotional talking about all this stuff so i think i'm gonna actually cut the the clip here i'll show you guys food after it's done but i will catch up with you guys here in a small bit um i'm about to upload my upload has about three minutes left but i'm gonna go on ahead and do like the description box and the um the description box and then the title of course let me look up cleaning cleaning emoji okay you guys so i ate dinner this is what happens whenever you um make dinner and you have no one else to share it with you you end up having a whole pot left so um yeah but i'm probably just gonna warm up a little bit more i've eaten one bowl but i'm really hungry again for another one i'm kind of nervous because i feel like if i'm getting sick so please pray for me but i set up my precious moments stay on the lookout because i am going to be doing a precious moments collection now i just got to pick up all of this mess and then i still have a couple of frames that still need to be hung up but progress is happening in the new apartment so i am super excited i'm gonna move this room over here <laughs> 